There was someone walking outside here. Oh, Jesus! Holy crap, dude! Scared the shit out of me, man. Hello, friends, and welcome to Friday Night Files. Thank you for joining me as we play Pierce to Fathom, Woodbury, Getaway. So there are multiple episodes of this game that I haven't played. So if you want me to play any of them, tell me in the comments down below and I might play them. So a little bit about this game is in the fifth episode of Pierce to Fathom, you play as Sydney Harper, a 23 year old working at a consulting firm plans a weekend getaway to a rental in Woodbury with her college friends. Little did they know what was about to unfold during their stay. Sydney survived as she made the right choices. So Fears to Fathom is a psychological horror game. So without much further ado, let's check it out. Start a new game. As I said, I haven't played any of the other episodes. <coughs> but they are not, you know... They are each... Each its own story. December 8th. Alrighty then. Needed coffee to get done with the day. Do we have coffee? Am I sitting down? Press space. Oh. That's not what I was supposed to do. How do I get out of this again? Okay, here we go. I guess we have to check out the computer later. Like I said, I really need a coffee. Well, let's get some coffee, you know? I need some coffee as well. Cheers. You to gather strength to play another horror game. Where is the coffee machine? Must be over here. So this game is like VHS aesthetics. It looks like the graphics. Hi, right, here we have some coffee, I suppose. Needed to prepare a cup of coffee. Yeah. Well, prepare it then. Here we go. Put this in here. Yep. And take a cup. It needed water. Okay. Let's throw this stuff. Or do we put water in the cup first? I don't know. I guess. Put it in here. Yep. I know how to make coffee. And there we go. A nice cup of hot coffee. Ready for the night shift, I suppose. Need to put a lid. Why? Why do you need a lid? Aren't you going to drink it straight away? Now what? Needed to use the restroom. Just the supply room. Where's the restroom then? Here? Yep. Let's go in and take a shit. Are we a woman? We are a woman, right? We need to use this toilet. Go in and have a shit. Here we go. Nothing like a cup of coffee while shitting, you know. <laughs> we even have a meter for it. Okay, we are peeing. You know? Hello? Aren't we alone at the office? There's someone walking outside here. Oh, Jesus! Holy crap, dude. Scared the shit out of me, man. Hello? The hell do you want? I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. How are you? Not too bad, ma'am. I was just finishing up my cleaning rounds. Holy crap, man. Scared the bejesus out of me. 
I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. You working late again, huh? Yeah, well... You young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. You do. And don't effing scare me again, dude. What the hell is wrong with you, man? But can we throw the cop at him? There you go. <laughs> you need to stop that now. Oh, I'm sorry. That's for scaring me, dude. That will teach you. So I suppose we go back to the computer and work. Is that it? Phone's ringing. Hello? Mommy? Is that you? <clears throat> Pick up the phone. Go for Sydney Harper. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it even cut out on a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Work has been overwhelming lately. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Yeah, man. Um... About our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hopefully. Hey. I was hey. thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. I'll give you a nice ride. <laughs> You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sounds good. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Thank you. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under a hundred dollars a night. All right. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Should we just hang off on him. <laughs> if you man. So I suppose we are going on the internet here and, f and book it, or do we search uh, cabin rentals or something? Rentacabin.co. That's exactly what I was writing, you know. <laughs> search internet, please. Feeling unlucky. Oh, I have to type com. Ah, okay, okay, I see. Find your place to stay. Rent any cabin from hosts around the world. Where are you going? Woodbury. Search. 350 a night. Well, it's too expensive. It looks nice though. 249 199 Well, this one looks pretty good as well for $99 a night We can fish. We have a garden, kitchen, parking space, TV, and Wi-Fi All the good stuff Even got better reviews than this one uh, Here it is, book cabin Private cabin in Woodbury. Three guests, two bedroom, two beds. We are three people, right? Should be good. The booking has been confirmed. So I guess Nora and Mike are together. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. Huh? So I give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. What the hell is this? I'm sorry, if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. Are we are uh, reading Reddit stories now, or what? 
When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. But this is our story, right? Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings and trying to prove my worth. Which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. Is the music too loud? I don't know. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I am Sydney Harper, yeah, so this is us. And this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. Let's go then. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. Look at that grin on his face. Are you all right, mate? Afternoon. Quite chilly today, eh? Not. I've seen you around, but haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. It's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on 8th. Well... Awesome. How do you know? I've just seen you a few times getting off at the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. How do you know I'm gone off at 10th if you are working on 8th? What do you do for work? Me? I'm a software engineer. What about you? I work at a consulting firm downtown. Oh, I see. Anyways... I hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You too. Hello? How do we pick up the phone? See, I press escape to pick it up, but how do we... I got my suitcase in the elevator, damn it. Why do you left your suitcase? How the hell do we pick up the phone? Do we just hang up on him? Pulling into the parking garage now. You down? I'm down. But this is our booking, I guess. Just book. Do you ever answer the phone anymore? Call me, please. I'm off work now. Okay, I'm heading that way. Pulling into the parking garage now. You downstairs yet? Can we reply? No. F you, man. Okay, I can't send. <laughs> Alright. Let's take our suitcase. Does this mic? Take my suitcase, man. Oh, can't throw it at him. <laughs> Harp. Let's give him a hug instead. Hmm. That's still how you hug people? Well, duh. Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Just a test hug to see if you... Smelled first. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. But for the record, I shower just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Let's chuckle and give him a long hug. Oh, so nice to see you, Mike. You look good. So do you, Mike. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Alrighty then. Throw it. There we go. Alright then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this, man. Let's go. To Woodbury getaway. Cheers. So I think this game is about two hours long. I won't be playing all of it because I have to get to work in a couple of hours. So it started to snow, I said, yeah? Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get into the real world. Or 
Funny how that works. Change is just hard. Like trying to adjust to the new job. How's your new job going? We are working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. Pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're sh shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, <laughs> but I'll take it. You know, I never understood. What do consultants even do? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright then. Do you press escape to read this? Ah, oh, okay. Harp, do you ever miss college? Only the cafeteria food. <laughs> Holy, I miss those tacos. That was the school boss. Will you still interrupt me? Yeah, I can't read the messages because he's interrupting, interrupting me. Did you see that school bus? See what? There was a school bus. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I read people do that on the internet. Okay. Can we read these messages now? Nope. Get out of the way, yo! Oh snap! That was close. You know, I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Well, okay. Okay. Please confirm when you check in. Safe travel. Will do. You can pause the video and read all that if you want. How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. So this is gonna be a long video. We are going to drive here for one and a half hour. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Well, definitely. Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Well, that's actually spot on, you know? I also like driving through the snow. Is this, is this Woody from Toy Story? It's kind of beautiful. Well, it is. Quite nice. Are we skipping to right now, please? Let the horror begin, you know? Feel like it's a bit of a slow paced game, maybe. I'm not sure. Yo, Harp, check that out. Check what out? Most Pizza. You hungry, mate? Okay, let's have pizza then. You know Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. So I guess we are in... When did GPS come out? In early 2000s or something? It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too, man. Alright then, Harp. Ration pizza pit stop is a go. Prepare to land. <laughs> Alright. How much is a pizza? Veggie pizza is the expensive one. But who wants a veggie pizza? Come on in, Harp. Well, thank you. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Okay. Let's check in with our field reporter. Will How's we ever the get there, there then? Oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands. Okay. Where did Mike go? See here? Hello? Sure. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? 
You'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Why do you want a veggie pizza? For me, I want pepperoni. And a more special. Give me some cheese, please. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just the pizza today, thanks. Alright, right then. Six hot slices coming right up. That'd be $22.50. That's expensive, isn't it? Or is it for six slices of pizza? I don't know. The order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. Thank you, Mo. Hello? Okay. <laughs> he didn't want to talk. Long sniff. What are you sniffing there? It smells so good in here. Let's take a long sniff. Are we doing lines? <laughs> Friends forever. Nora Kim. Uh, where the hell are Can I read this, please? We're on the road, Nora. Let us know when when you get going, okay? Oh, you guys <laughs> are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. She I'm isn't even on her way. The details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. What an annoying and voice, right? about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. <laughs> okay. You can stay up to let her in. Did you listen to Nora's message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Aren't we just friends? Order number 27. You folks are right here. Thank you. Let's get our pizza. Can I sit down, please? All right, you folks are all set. Well, thank you. Oh damn, these pizza slaps. They slap ass, man. Can't believe Nora is missing out on these bomb ass pizza. I know, right? Uh, only eating half slices. <laughs> okay, we can eat it all. Just leave the crust. That's what I usually do. To be sure I can eat all the good stuff first. Then eat the crust at the end if I'm still hungry. You guys eat pizza that way as well? Hey there, my friends. Well, hello there. I saw you all pull in driving that nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and taking notes? <laughs> Not at all, my friend. I just noticed you seem to be heading the same direction I was. You all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with? It looks like a hiker of some sorts. Y'all wouldn't even know I was there, quiet as a church mouse, and twice as nice. So what do you all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Do we... Do want to bring a stranger with us? Well, I guess we are two against one, yeah? We have Mike. Sure, you can come with us. Hold on a second. 
Don't you think we need to discuss this? Sure, feel free to jump in. I'm not sure if you have extra space for another passenger. I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. Sure, you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I ride in the bed. Oh yeah, the back of the car is called a bed, right? It's my friend's car, I'm sorry. We would give a ride, but there isn't any space. You gotta be shitting me, lady! No space! I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? I'm sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening me? Yeah, are you threatening us? No, 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 no. You all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah, well, thanks dude. Please leave. I bet we are going to see that guy again. Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? Well, I thought we are two against one. He seemed harmless. You really never know these days. For all we know, he could have been another Ted Bundy harp. Yeah, Ted Bundy also seemed like a good guy, you know, until he wasn't. I've seen some documentaries of survivors of Ted Bundy. Nom 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 nom. Let's finish the pizza and get the hell out of here before that Ted Bundy guy comes back. Damn harp. Actually eat the crust? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> I'd eat a tire if I was hungry enough. Fair enough. But eat someone else's tires. <laughs> Still got a bit of driving to do. Yeah. Don't you guys eat the crust? I always do. If I'm still hungry. Here we go. Let's burp. That pizza was the perfect fuel for the last leg uh. of our trip. We are a charmer. <laughs> huh? Let's get the hell out of here. garbage bin like a good citizen holy that was good look at listen to the music in here isn't it awesome look at this guy no he is up with the beat oh, sorry but he is he's really down with the beat you know all right then are you ready to hit the road Maybe we can beat the burst of the snow. Give me the keys, please. I'll drive. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? Take a break while I drive, Michael. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. <laughs> Fine. But there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Whatever, man. Take keys. Oh, you're really up and down with the beat, yeah? Let's get the hell out of here. Hopefully the horror begins very soon. 5.49 p.m. Good evening, Vermont. Oh, we are this really driving. WKWB, oh, okay. Cool, man. Can we drive into a tree? Oh. <laughs> As we embrace the Harp, are you okay? Of the season, you want me to take over? Like nope. Song to set the mood. Doing so good. Here's a track that'll make you I should just let Mike drive. Next, no, we shouldn't. Be sincere. We are driving very, very safely. Oh, stay tuned. Damn it! Now we are a very safe driver. Oh, oh, damn it! 
<laughs> Harp, did you get your license from a cereal box? No, no. I'm the best driver out here. Right? Let's go to this side of the road. Oh, oh sh damn it. We'll get there at some point. No? Oh. Oh, I told you. Driving in the snow is no joke. <laughs> what do you mean? You're doing good. I was out of practice with driving. No, no. Not a very safe driver out here. Oh! Damn it! Just kidding. Let's get a hell out of here. For reals? Slow? Did that? Did that just say slow? Oh, oops. Just trying to to see the sign, you know, without having to back up. So this is Woody from Toy Story, right? Oh, oh, damn it! Watch where you're going, dude. I'm driving here. God damn it! Okay, let's let's get the hell out of here. We'll go this way? I'm not sure where we're going. <laughs> Is this the place? No? Awesome soundtrack in this game. Maybe I'm like halfway, maybe I can make it there. I ain't trying to slow down because I'm trying to retire my mama and my old man. I don't worry about all the drama, yeah. yeah Watch I where you're going. Cool. I keep God damn it. Hearing lies, man. That ain't all there is to me. I'm trying so to how, how far do we have to go? And I promise you will be about to do we die if we drive heart, so like 50 miles an hour? I crashed my truck. I yeah, no I shit. Right. Several times. Oh, look at the lights. Oh, sorry. I was just attracted to your lights, you know? Slow? I won't go slow. It's 35 miles an hour. Okay, let's get there. Hey, we're at Woodbury now. So where's our rental cabin? Will we know when we get there? Or? I drove past our cabins at first. I don't remember what they look like. Walk over the is it this one? Away from where the town is. Or is it in here? Or? Alone and never miss a soul. I could try my hardest and I'll never reach my goals. I know that I won't be my cabin, dude. inside my heart. Didn't want to change, but I think that I did it. It's a good oh, Jesus. Time to start. <laughs> that wasn't even on purpose. I guess we start. don't fit in there. Good time to start. So I guess, where the hell's our cabin? Do you guys remember what it looks like? Is this it? And this should be it. Okay. I thought you were just gonna keep driving there. Well, I was. Uh, can we get out? What are we waiting for? I don't know. Let's press space. Here we are. It was a very cold night. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. Is there someone up there? Hello? Is Nora already here? Where's her car? Aren't you going to get your bag? Let me get in. Okay, let's take our bag first. But who the hell's up there, man? Oh? What the hell's that? Are you sure this is our cabin, Mike? We are not alone. Door was locked. Had to get the key from the lockbox. Uh, I'll left mouse to slide. Am I supposed to know 
I remember Rick has sent me the lockbox code. Ah, okay. What is it then? 5176. 51. 70. And 6. There we go. Couldn't that guy that was in there not open the door for us? Here we are, Mike. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the jaw. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. I got it. Let's throw our stuff here. The house was cozy and well furnished. I don't like this airy music. I had to open the cooler first. Okay. Ah, okay. This, this is the cooler. God damn it. Okay, there we go. It's open. Oh, do we put it in piece by piece? There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Had to close the mini fridge before picking it up. Yeah. Talking about this one. Ah, oh, there we go. Phew! Sorry about that, Harp. Are you okay? That was some mighty shit. Long drive and all that. Pizza really did a number on me. Hang on, I really need to pee. You can go ahead, I'll start unpacking our bags. Thank you. So where was the bathroom? I didn't see where he went. I hear this. The smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. Okay then, let's close the door then. And have a pee? I love that we have a, a meter, you know, a pee meter. <laughs> okay, please confirm when you check in. Hi, have you checked in? Okay. Oh, is that an orb? I hate to it. You feeling better after the drive? Much better now. So, ready to check out the place? Sounds good to me. After you. Wow, look at this cozy place, yeah? This living room is bigger than my apartment. Okay, we can make crosswords if we want to. Okay. We can... Sit here and watch on TV if one. Move, bitch! Or do you need me to... Okay, we can just walk past him. <laughs> what is... Oh, we have a... We have a basement. I hate basements. You know? Especially in horror games, I mean. Is this a big ass fridge or something? No? Totally normal basement. This place totally reminds me of your college door. Are you sure? I don't smell the long beach kush here. I don't know what you're talking about. It was long beach kush. No access to guess. Ooh, what's in here? I wonder what this guy doesn't want us to see. Oh. I guess we'll find out at some point. Right? Okay, let's check upstairs. Where there was... We, we saw a shadow in the window. Hello? Anybody up here? No?
Holy crap, dude. Who the hell are you, man? Oh, hey, you're here. You scared us, man. Oopsie daisy. I didn't mean to. Ah, sure you didn't. Welcome to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 no. We are not a couple. I guess Mike begged the differs. You didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I was just answering his question, man. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement, and you... Never mind. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Oopsie daisy. Silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Uh, <clears throat> I was out looking for my cat earlier. I remember the TV has been on. The Fritz. Okay, here. Whatever that means. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again. Since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. What, what now, Mike? What's wrong with you? Speaking of that, now that your folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Right now, I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Well, okay, you can tell us what's down in that basement, please. Host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Well, <laughs> sure doubt it. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. But how do we clean our hands then? In the shower? I guess there is a toilet. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Well, thank you. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Please do. This place looks really nice, you know? Look, Harp, this room has a nice ass view. You think that's nice, mister? <laughs> Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Uh, okay. Nice ass view. Oh, have a look at this. Holy smokes! This is incredible! Incredibly cold. That is. Glad the folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. Alright folks, let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. Well, we wouldn't want that to happen, do we? A creepy old fella. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. Power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. Alright folks, let's head downstairs now. This guy is not giving me great vibes. You know? Look Mike, it's a teddy, it's a teddy bear. Alrighty folks. I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Please do. That's down the basement. You already saw it, but please tell us what's in your secret room, please. What's in here? Ahem. 
Nothing to worry about down here. Just a water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. Good stuff. What's in your secret room? It's going to tell us now, maybe. Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? <clears throat> Nothing you two need to concern yourself with. I kinda use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. We will break in there later. I'm sure. Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. No. Now you have to tell us, you know. The fellow I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Oh, is, is her spirit still roaming around? Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Uh, okay. <laughs> the looks on your faces. <laughs> okay now. Come on now. I'm just joking. Well, are you now? At this point, my creep meter was quickly pinging at around a 6 out of 10. Well, yep. Alrighty folks. Snow starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Well, thanks for showing us around. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. Well, it's Sydney. Ha, huh, Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. Well, the creep meter just went up to a seven, you know? So what do you think, Mike? Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Super duper weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Does this game... It doesn't even save, I can't even... can't even there's not even an option you know so i guess we have to play this game in one sitting but i'm not sure i have time for that no but i is i guess the game doesn't auto save or anything you know, you know what i'll do for the next part of the video i'll be playing to this point of camera just run quickly through it and then when i see you again we'll start from this point so if you enjoyed the video please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you're a fan of horror games well this is the right channel for you thank you for joining me until next time bye bye